Welcome back to 90 Second Philosophy with Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing our series on philosophical paradoxes with part 3, Zeno's Paradox. Now, Zeno had a lot of paradoxes, all of which have to do with the possibility of movement. The paradox we're going to be looking at is the paradox of Achilles and the tortoise. So we imagine that Achilles and a tortoise are off on a foot race. Why? We don't really know. Achilles, being a good guy, is going to let the tortoise have a little bit of a head start. So, we look, when the race starts, Achilles is faster than the tortoise. But the first thing that Achilles has to do is move to the spot where the tortoise started. And during the time that Achilles has taken to move to that spot, the tortoise has moved a little bit farther down the racetrack. Getting in closer, we see Achilles now moves a shorter distance to where the tortoise has now started, but once again, in that time, the tortoise has moved a little bit farther down the racetrack. Continues, and so on and so forth. Each time Achilles takes the time to move to the tortoise's old position, the tortoise has moved a little bit farther down the racetrack. The problem, of course, is that... Achilles can't move an infinite number of times. Achilles would have to move an infinite number of times to catch the tortoise. Therefore, Achilles will never catch the tortoise. That was Zeno's paradox. We've already done the paradox of Theseus' ship. Next up is the paradox of the heap, followed by the grandfather paradox and the unexpected hanging paradox. If you liked that video or you'd like to see more, check out carnades.org. And stay skeptical, everybody.